name is Karen McDowell. I'm a Pokemon trainer who's been making Pokemon videos for about two years now. Oh yeah, we got some of you! Last year I made a movie of my playthrough of Pokemon Omega Ruby version. And this year, to celebrate the release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, I decided to record my playthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond version and edited it all into a movie. So sit back, relax, and grab a Pokemon game of your own while watching this movie, because in this playthrough, there will be many battles fought, shinies obtained, a legendary encounter, and eight badges to gain. This is the Brilliant Diamond Adventure, a splendid playthrough. was the night before BDSP when all through the house um, I guess everyone is currently stirring it's like seven um, there aren't really any mice around here uh, I put out the things I need for my vlog see um, uh, oh yeah my lanyard is hanging from the bed railing with care um, the moon's not really out tonight so he isn't really shining down on anything um, I guess I'm ready for bed. So, um, happy BDSP day to all, and to all, a good night. Alright guys, I'm here, with myself, and I'm filming high guys. I'm ready, I have my stuff right here, I have my DSi, I have my Going diamond, I have my switch all ready to go. Alright, so I got the game. That's really nice. And I got these two things as well this shiny Zanzenta coat and a promo card, which I'll unbox when I get home. Bye, guys. Uh, see you when I get home. Alright, so I'm back home. Just had breakfast. And I'm gonna try to. I got a comparison here. And also my DS comparison for the thing. And now, um, it's time to unbox it. This is gonna be so good. All right, so, bang, here it is. And also I should probably show off some other stuff too. So we got these shiny Zamazenta codes, which I thought they were out. So luckily I was able to get these. But then, Snorlax VMAX, so the guy at the GameStop said that they got a ton of these codes for a pre-release back a long time ago, but they got so many of them that he said they just had a ton in the back. He just gave me one. So that's really nice. Promo card, Snorlax, VMAX. So that's a really nice bonus. I'll just, I don't know, stick it right, stick it right up here for now. And then here we go, we got the big one! Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Oh yeah, look at that guy! Oh my god! I saw this box. I've I've seen this box art before because the box art got revealed uh, a couple months back. But boy, does it look good! Okay, we got all the screenshots. Unravel the myth of the Pokemon that controls time. Search for fossils and treasure by digging. Dance to the rhythm. Explore the Grand Underground. It's one player, like I expect. I expected it to be one player. Then you got Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, which oh my god, it's gonna go right next to Pokemon Shield. Oh my god, that's gonna look so nice. All right, time to pull out my trusty. Okay, not slam my finger in my desk drawer. Um, time to pull out my trusty Yokai watch scissors, which are just safety scissors. These scissors that I've had for a really long time that I just put Yokai watch stickers on. And let's take off the packaging! Oh my god, it looks so good! I'm just gonna. Uh, it's always kind of hard to take off the packaging. I mean, it starts off a bit hard and then it becomes way easier. And for those of you who like that kind of stuff, <laughs> this is just like my Mega Ruby movie. 
for those of you who like this kind of stuff. Oh yeah! That's for all you fans out there who like <laughs> that kind of stuff. Okay, let's open it up. Oh my god, this is, looks so good. I think this is kind of like Sword and Shield. So they had the picture of the Gala region here, and now they have the picture of the of the Sinnoh region here. Why does everything look so blue? My camera's making everything look blue. Alright, there we go, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. It's like kind of like an updated version of the original. Here, let, let me pull, my, pull out my cartridge. Here is the comparison right here. Boy, oh boy, that looks good. Wow. Just wow, that's beautiful. I had to stop the recording for just a second. So, I guess there's nothing left to do. We're ready. This is the final, this, I mean not the final. I mean this is the big, the big thing. This is the big thing. There we go. So it's a game card slot. Pull out Smash Bros. That's because I, I play Smash Bros a lot. Pop out the cartridge. And here it is. Okay. This is about to be. This is about to be good. Gosh, it's so hard to film this. Hold on. This is about to be good. Really? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, let's do a redo on that. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't read it. Oh, I read it this time. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, this game looks so good. Oh my god. Oh, it sounds like the original too. English. Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Can you focus camera, you god dang. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Munchlax. Yep. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm just gonna be choosing that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna be choosing this one. Oh my god, name reveal. You guys already know my name. <laughs> yep. So you're Kieran. Fine name that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Dame. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. I really want to name him Barry. Actually. I'll name him what I named him in my original diamond. I named him Ralph. Alright, Kieran, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon! Oh, despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon 
eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. Ooh, that's a nice TV. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you, the ne see you next week. Same time, same channel. My goodness. It's just like the original. What was that about? Oh, hey, Kieran, I'm going to the lake. You should come too. And be quick about it. Okay, Kieran, I'm finding you one million Poke Dollars if you're late. You saw that news report. Search for the right Gyarados. Bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a Pokemon like that. It's a briefcase. Heard them say professor. Pokemon? What's going on? Oh, this is so cool! Oh yeah, I'm doing Tartoid. Yes! I'm doing with my boy, Turtwig. Ooh! First battle. This is... Oh my god, this reminds me of Pokemon Mega Real Sapphire. Like, the difference between, like... Ah, uh, remakes are so cool. Oh, it updated... Okay, so it updated it for me. Tackle. Oh yes! Did you see how fast that health bar was? The original health bars are so slow! So slow. Oh, uh, this game's so good. Uh, I can't wait to do a shiny hunt in this game. This looks so good. Bang! You're dead. Okay, so in Platinum, I didn't name my Torterra, so I guess I'm going to go with Lenny this time. Alright, so let's name this guy. Let's name him Lenny. Yes, I am. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Kieran, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Kieran. Hello, Badoof. I'm sorry, but your time has come. Alright. Alright, get ready for this Orberg music. Howdy, trainer. Oh yeah, and I forgot to do this. But, time to put the case. And I shall slide it in. Make a little spot for it. Right there, and boom. Oh yeah, so right now I took a break from BDSP. Um... And I'm making some scrambled eggs. Made some toast right here. And I'll get back to you guys when I continue.
guys, so I'm being quiet, but it's the end of day one, and I played a lot. Um, about to go to bed, but uh, I just want to show you guys my Pokemon haul. So that right here is my team, currently, but it's not like an official team. But I got all these Pokemon. Playtime. Playtime? Yes. I think 4 hours and 33 minutes. Started on the 19th. And yeah. So time to go to bed. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. I'm good, but see you in the morning. It is another morning. This morning is more sunny than yesterday morning. Um, I don't know how much I like that. But today we're going to be doing some BDSP. And it's just... I love how this looks next to Pokemon Shield. Guys, I just got a Torterra statue that is so cool. I'm just going around mining in walls and exploring. So yeah. You can smear honey on honey trees in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl so that you can find certain Pokemon after I think it's six hours of waiting for the tree to start shaking. Out of these encounters, you have a 10% chance to find a Burmy, which would be my next team member.
Yellow. Zap from Pikachu. Well, I mean, my favorite type is electric, so you know. What? <laughs> no, how do I make it not a foul poppin? This game sucks! I've been waiting for this moment for far too long because the thing is, Floatzel. I need a Floatzel already. I mean. Okay, guys, so hmm, I'm not able to record anymore today, so. But, um, just want to show all of this I got today. It's my team right now. Um, these, these three are. Um, not permanent members. I don't know. I got all Pokemon. Including the man of the egg. So yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Oh my god. I had a- it's a Burmy. It's a Burmy. No way. Guys. Guys. It's a Burmy. It's a Burmy. It's a Burmy, guys. The Bagworm Pokemon. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, I gotta... Ah, I don't have a name for it. Jeez, okay, okay. Can't believe that was first try and I got the Burmy. Oh my god. Alright guys, it's a new day. Actually, it's 4.30. So, <laughs> it's 4.30. Um, I show you this like, kind of pretty little nice night scene. The neighborhood. Um, it's just been a really rainy day. It's been nice and cloudy. Thank goodness. And I'm watching some Mars! Actually, um, I don't, I don't exactly know what to say. Like uh, lazy James, L Lazy James, which go subscribe, just go subscribe to him. Make some awesome streams and stuff. So um, I thought I'd play a bit of BDSP. Thought I'd play a bit of that. So um, I guess let's get going. What? Grub is evolving. The evolving screen in this game looks so good. Oh yeah, Worm Adam. It doesn't have a footprint. Oh yeah, Quiver Dance. Oh! Honestly? Why would you ever need a string shot when you could have quiver dance? Oh my god! No way! No way! The continent Pokemon! Earthquake? Whatever. You delete whatever you want. Okay, let's delete Bleach Seed. Holy crap! I did not think Lenny would evolve. 
Oh my god. Oh, Lenny is... Oh my god. Lenny is now a fully grown Torterra. This Ooh, a metronome. Tomorrow I'll give you guys an update. So So I have been packing because tomorrow we're gonna go to Spokane for Thanksgiving. So mine in the way I don't know what to mine or mine this anyway. In this Minecraft day, so beautiful and further down, what's that I found? Mine diamonds, mine diamonds, I'll mine them, so hard I got to I'm going to train Murkrow to a high level. That's the plan. So, until next time, uh, I guess that's it for today. Alright. Let's go. To the new day. Which is tomorrow. We're outside, you can see over there a s I can barely see a safe way. <laughs> you can we're outside a safe way. Everybody else had to go for the had to go to the bathroom. So yeah, I just came to the remarkable realization while we were driving, I realized we basically live in this in our region. If out of any Pokemon region, where I live would be probably like the Sinnoh region out of all the regions. It wouldn't be Kalos, it wouldn't be any of those. It'd be Sinnoh. Like literally like you got the big mountain like towering like over like a bunch of places Mount Rainier and then over here and then like there's just a bunch of trees everywhere and everything I'm guessing um, we would I'd probably live in Matrona City but I just want you guys to just take a look at that like that is just a huge like a huge like mountain area it has like snow and all that. That's like the snow area in Sino. Over right out there, we got like a bunch of yikes. We got like a bunch of trees. Like look at that huge forest. Got some wingles up there. You got some stuff. I mean like seriously. In the background, oh, yikes. In the background, ah, I can't really see, but seriously, seriously guys. Oh yikes.
please guess what I'm waiting for the camera to focus <laughs> um, let's go Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. Bing! Oh no, my badges. Oh my god, my badges are disgusting. Oh my god. Jeez. Stickers. Whoopee. As I travel through this route, I would like to stop and appreciate the boys. This boy, Alexander. Hi. Hey, sleepy. He's a good boy. And this boy, Ranchotis. Hi, Ranchotis. But over here, in this house, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if this is the right house, probably, though. There is. The Burmy House. This is the Burmy House in Pastoria City. This guy, this grand, this uh, this um, old guy, he talks about Burmy and how the environment can shape Pokemon's personalities. Oops, I left the house. And then the other guy right here. This guy. Ooh, why are they showing an ad for Team Galactic? Oh no. This guy right here, he actually has some Burmies. I have a Burmie. This guy's a liar, but still, but still. Burmie's awesome. Power of Burmie.
It seems the Undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You earned this. Bang. The fan badge. That's cool. Ooh, stickers. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You and your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. Bing! The relic badge. I always thought the gym badges in this game were pretty cool. I have like a personal bias to like the Gen 5 gym badges, but I have to admit these are pretty awesome. Alright. Let's go. Yep, I knew it. Very battle. Ralph, I mean. You already got the gym badge? No fair. Well, you're gonna get destroyed.
yeah, yeah, you're just a bit better than me, as usual. But listen up. Let me tell you who's gonna take on the Pokemon League and become the champion. You guessed right, it's gonna be me. Anyways, you should be able to take on the gym leader here, and I'll hurry up and get to it. Alright, well, uh, let's go take on Byron. You are strong enough to take down my prized team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this, the Mind Badge. Bing! Cool. Alright, now that we got that, um, I guess there's, now, now we get into, like, the big, big stuff of the story, basically. Ooh, TM91, I don't have that one. Oh yeah, Flash Game, okay. I like what they did with this generation, though, where, like, HMs don't matter that much. Alright, now... The big meeting. Hey, Kieran, over here, this way! Okay, Gramps, I brought Kieran, like I said. And now I'm out of here! Okay, I get it. Hmm, everybody's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokémon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokémon that evolve, and others that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into the ones that are more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. There is said to be mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. 
we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokédex! And who was it? And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had the chance to give them one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you to be in becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me. It will help with my Pokédex too. Karen, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all three, all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortunately, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Faraday. Will do. Ralph, I want you in to investigate Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road to there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Oh uh, yeah, of, co of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And that leaves Kieran with Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Oh no. An explosion. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful, I'm concerned about the city. Alright, and there's an explosion. Kieran, hurry along, be, be aware of aftershocks. Just, you know, checking for items, because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm... I like 100%ing things. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was <laughs> that kid's looking up a book on how to survive disasters while there's an earthquake. Whoa! That tremor! That wasn't a natural occurrence! Hey, hey, old dude and kids, something big had just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that! Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmph, that Ralph can't sit still. Kieran, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Kieran? Yes, I will be. I will be fine. Alright, here it is. Let's go in. Oh, Team Galactic's here. What are they? What are they? Oh my goodness, the magic herb! Oh no, the magic herb! How could they? How could they do this to the magic herb? Not the magic herb! Oh. just destroy these morons and get to where the Pokemon is, which I know which one it is. I think it's... Um, Nest Spirit, I think. Here we go. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Commander. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed, even if the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Alright, I think this is Commander Saturn... There we go, alright. And you know you're dead.
even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon at Lake Fairy. Alright, well, I'm gonna save, and then... Alright, I made it to Snow Point, the city shaped like an icicle. And it's time to challenge Candace. Um, we got these nice shots of the gym. Ooh, the ice looks so good in this game. Okay, so, just just going to show you guys, um, I have these guys on my team. <laughs> They're not actually like part of my team, but I'm just trying to level some of these guys up. I only think I'll need to use Lenny for now, so... Oh my god, I just lost a gym battle. Okay, okay, okay. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon fashion romance is all about focus. I'll show you what I mean. Get ready to lose. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, this time. So. I lost to Candace, Candace, and, um, because I was only using my Torterra, and so now I'm gonna use multiple Pokemon this time, so, yeah, time to win.
my god. <laughs> Grub just obliterated Candace. Oh my god. Okay, I got the icicle badge, I think. Yeah, icicle badge. Oh my god. That was crazy. Ooh, stickers. Stickers! Nice. And TMs, those are always useful. Avalanche, okay. Oh my god, guys, oh my god. So I was, I was just leaving Snowboard City. I was watching out for nice. stream. Whoa! Nice, nice, nice. He nice, just got nice. himself a shiny floatzel. That's one of his team members in his dream quest. Oh my god, guys. He got the floatzel. And he's about to end the stream, but still. Oh my god, I can't believe I I this is like right after I beat the gym. Like look at that thing. That thing's beautiful. Alright guys, probably like one of the most like, important things. We finally made it to Team Galactic HQ, and right in here, there's a Dusk Stone. So now, with that, I'm just gonna save. Now, our fourth team, our team member, is finally gonna evolve. I mean, it's been like a long time, and now he's finally ready. Everybody else has been like evolved and all that. Now, here we go, Dusk Stone. On Crummer. What? Crummer is evolving. Whoa! Look at that thing. That is beautiful. Oh my god, the big boss Pokemon! Let's go! Okay, so now I'm gonna start putting items on my team members, because I mean... It's about time, so... I see. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expect to see that the trainer is a mere child. I'd heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Uxie, Mass Spirit, and Azel, correct? You want to save them? I, know no I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But you still came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. You are compelled to come here by such vacacious sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Oh yeah. Team Galactic Boss Cyrus. The basis of your power is your comparison, your compassion, and the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokemon. 
How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions, and like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I've abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize you are strong and courageous to come along. This is your reward. And I got the Master Ball. The ultimate Pokeball. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of my Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel up ahead. Off to Mount Coronet. That's correct, Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and then put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Hmm. Well, uh... Let's perhaps save these Pokemon. Oh, they just have a bunch of rocks in... Oh no, it's all creepy. Get out of here, Saturn, you suck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Oh, okay. Well, guess we're fighting Saturn, Saturn again. What makes you so tough? Fine, why not do whatever you want with those three Pokemon? Press the button on that machine to set them free. Yes. And they disappeared. Our boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on that cornet. Yeah, I know, it's probably Dialga. Alright, so, let's go. Oh, yeah. The beautiful snowy mountain towering over the Sinnoh region. Mount Cornet. I finally made it, guys. And now to get to the top. The very tippity top, where I will beat Cyrus or something. And it was also actually snowing a bit uh, before I recorded this video, so yeah. Something huge is gonna happen, I think. Maybe, right? Don't meddle around. Of course you're going to, aren't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down to the ground. end and everything will begin with this red chain i will pry open the portal to another dimension i command that you unleash the pa your power for me dialga the mythical pokemon and the master of time whoa here we go oh <laughs> there he is oh yeah this guy's great 
Oh, you can actually you can actually see the red chain now finally. Oh, he is absolutely distorting time and everything. This will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. Ooh! This cutscene looks like a million times better now that it's in... Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I should turn up the volume. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh, Dialga, the, the ancient deity of time! This world cannot be modeled into the ultimate world I seek. It's far easier to create an entirely new world than to change this one. A new world in which I am the ruler of all things. I shall become a deity. Nice. Alright. Well. I just want to save really quick. Okay. That was awesome. Now. Let us begin. Woo! This is so exciting. Alright. Mars and Jupiter. There's no need to rush. I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad, but you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Even though I wasn't wearing gloves before. Hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me. Hmm. well if it isn't the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Acuity. Did you get any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. Oh yeah, this fight is amazing. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I hate bro <laughs> Okay, Bronzor is an awesome Pokemon. But fighting against it is so annoying if you don't have a fire type. I mean, it is just painful. Because, look at this, this is foul play, super effective. I have dark glasses on, and my Chromer is like high, higher level than them. And it did that much, because they have such high defense. level for like where we are in the game <sighs> my Pokemon are tough right I can get even tougher but you know that's it for us we've hit the wall Kieran I'll help you with this hey Kieran this is it this is your show now oh wait what's happening oh Dialga this is Wait, what's going on? Oh, wow, that's a galaxy. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Fantastic, beautiful. It's the creation of a new galaxy. My new world. What? Huh? It's Uxie. It's mess for it. Oh my gosh, guys, it's, they're all here! I mean, yeah, n now they're all here. Azelf, oh my goodness! What are they gonna do? Are they gonna break the chain? Bang! Oh, they just shattered the chain! Neat!
Mass Spirit, hello. Wait, is it showing me Mass Spirit because, like, I chose Turtwig or something? The red chain! It crumbled away to nothing, but why? Why would Mass Spirit, the Pokemon of Lake Verity, appear by your side? But never mind that. It's all destroyed. My galaxy's gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. But before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you! Rushed right into the other, into the next fight, but that's okay because um my Pokemon are healed. Oh, we have the same amount of Pokemon. to stop that whole Dialga problem. What is truly the ultimate to you? What do you consider perfection? The most important thing, what shines the brightest. Telling you is meaningless, but I will not give up. I will become a deity one day, and I will make the ultimate mine. And then Cyrus appears in Smash Ultimate. Dialga, the master of time. It is impossible to tell if it is enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be waiting for you, Kieran. It seems to be challenging you as a test. Go on, Kieran. Face up to Dialga. Listen to its heart. Understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be trusting you to stop it. Kieran, I ran into Ralph a little while ago. He said that he believed in you. He said that you could get the job done. I feel the same way. Help that Pokemon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. Well, we're gonna save before we do that. <laughs> Just in case I kill it. Because that is a very real possibility. <laughs> oh, here we are. There he is. Dialga appears. Oh, this background is so cool. It's like all glitching out and there's lightning. And yes, I'm not going to be an idiot who just master balls it immediately. I'm just going to check which Pokeballs I have.
<laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, we caught the Alga! Oh my god. That took a while, actually. Grub's level 52. Diogo's dead and we'll be added to the Pokédex. You just caught a god. Whoopee! Steel Dragon. That's still, like, a really cool typing. Alright, just nothing. We just have a time god in our Pokémon box. Kieran, I don't know how to... I don't know how you... You are magnificent. Truly, you are incredible. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time, the professor did a lot of research. He became very concerned about you, Kieran. So he came out to a place as treacherous as this. Kieran, I'm so glad you're safe. Let's go home. And there we go. No one has the right to take away anybody's future or anyone's world. Oh wait, no, I can just fly home. Never mind. What am I? Hmm. All right, I have successfully made it to Sh Sunny Shore City, and which actually is my favorite city in the game. And I am here today to. Well, actually, Veilstone is a very close second because of the music, but yeah. Anyway. Time to take on this gym. Um, Master of Electric type Pokemon? Oh, well, that's easy peasy.
we go. You got me beat. Your desire and the noble way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. And give me the gym badge. Hehehe. <laughs> ha ha, that was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. Alright, eighth gym badge, here we go. The beacon badge. Alright, well. Okay, I think I should discuss something with you guys. So, I want to... What I want to do is I want to... Finish, basically, I want to complete my team. And the way to do that is I need to get every Pokemon on my team. So, we have some shiny hunting to do. And then, a miracle happened. Okay, I'm filming this on my phone because my camera is currently dead right now. But oh my god, I just caught my shiny. I just caught my shiny. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. I have to show you guys this. Oh my god. There it is. The shiny. The shiny. The shiny. I've been training up this Munchlax for my Pokédex. And there it is. Just the shiny. So I'm gonna try and catch it here. My camera's not focusing. Well, my phone's not focusing because I'm filming this on my phone currently. Alright. What am I gonna catch it in? My god, this all happened so fast. Luxury ball. It has to be a luxury ball. Please. No. It can actually attack. Oh my god, I almost attacked it. Please. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Oh my god. I was catching Phoebus here for the Pokédex. Oh my god. Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to name it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll come back when I name it. Alright, so, um, I know I already have Blub in my Crown and Tundra playthrough, but I always kind of wanted to name a fish Pokémon, a shiny fish Pokémon this. And I really can't think of another name. But Blub 2. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just freaking out. Oh my god. That's the most... I, my, my shiny... My first shiny in BDSP is a Magikarp. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm trying to evolve this Munchlax because, I mean, it's painful evolving this Munchlax because I have to give it the Sooth Bell, I have to be best friends with it. It's just a lot of baloney. But, oh my god, caught in a luxury ball. Blub the second. Gentle nature, likes bitter food. Swift swim. Gentle. This Pokemon is my ex-team member, wow! This all just happened so fast. Oh my god, I'm gonna finish my activities that I was doing in BDSP, which was like getting lots of Phoebus during like the day where I actually know where the Beavis- the Phoebus- <sighs> Getting lots of Phoebus in the day where I know where the Phoebus are. <laughs> Cause I use this Phoebus calculator thing. Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous, but oh my god. And I think we'll have a discussion about what I'm gonna name what I'm gonna do next. So, oh my god, this is just, this is 
just crazy. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I was watching a bit of Absolute Boss Pokemon, and Blub is actually evolving! Pretty nice, I was trying to get into Krogunk and all that, so... Here we go, time to see that beautiful, beautiful Red Gyarados. The one that is very, very beautiful. Especially in Gen 2 games. Alright, Blub 2. Ooh, and I, I realized I don't have a Gyarados yet. So that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, so I'm continuing the crew, the Krogunk shiny hunt. Because I really want a... Oh my god, my dodging skills are insane. I really want a shiny Krogunk on my team. Because Krogunk is a really good team member to have. And he has, he covers a, a lot of, he has a bunch, he has some types that we don't yet have on our team. So... We don't have fighting and we don't have poison, which could be very, very useful because fighting types um, are pretty dang good. They could be really useful. I know uh, Lucian has like a bronze on or something, so we're gonna need to go for that, alright? So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll teach Blub some better moves and I'll level him up a bit more to be um, on the same level of good as our team. So yeah, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go get back to the shiny hunting, and I will cut to when everything is, when my Pokemon are strong, or when, um, I get the shiny. Alright, see you guys then. <laughs> I'm shaking, guys. Oh my god, after 343 encounters in the underground... I was watching some like Absolute Boss and stuff, and there it is. There it is. The shiny, the one. Snow update. It is still snowing. All right. Well, it's not snowing, but like it, it's still very, very snowy here, my friends. All right. There we go. I think that's a good setup. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So here's the plan. We're gonna use a bite. Now this should not kill, will not kill. See? Won't kill. Sludge bomb, that is okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, that's that's not fine, but that's fine. Oh what? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Willy. Okay, we can bite again. Lynch and bite one more time. This is the last bite, and I'm not gonna bite it anymore, okay? Okay. And if things come to the absolute worst, we're gonna master ball it. But I'm gonna try to catch this thing in a luxury ball. Oh my god. I gotta turn the volume up. I did it! I did it! I did it! I caught it! I caught my, I caught my I caught my shiny. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! I am freaking out. I'm shaking. I sorry I couldn't get my shiny reaction because I, I didn't have my camera pulled up. And I, I decided to save battery life and other stuff by like and like memory by like not just recording the whole thing, but Oh my god. I'm right now, I'm gonna save. And I'm doing this also online in the underground, because then people can get the digging boost really fast. Except I haven't really done any digging boosts. Everybody's not really even focusing on that. Everybody kind of abandoned the whole diglet boost. But oh my god, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh! <laughs> Do croak. Okay, quiet nature. That's uh, that's, mm, I mean, we could keep it at. Oops. 
We could keep it with Sludge Bomb, I guess. Alright, there it is! There's our party! Um, I'm gonna edit their movesets a little bit. Um, the team is gonna be complete soon. And then we can take on the Elite Four. So, I'll see you guys when that happens. Turn that baby up right there. What? It's unheard of! Do Croak is evolving? I'm gonna be screenshotting everything though. Goodbye, Do Croak. Now you will become bigger, Do Croak. There he is! Oh wow, that is beautiful. Shiny Pokédex entry. Alright, now... Our team is complete, guys! There we go! This is my team for BDSP! We just need to give some items, all that stuff, and I'll do a complete, like, team... I show you guys everything about my team right before the Elite Four, okay? Hey guys, it's Karen here, and now we are back, and today I'm going to try and take on Victory Road. So, I'll record that, this time with much higher quality footage. So let's do this.
all ow money all right so it's time today I'm gonna finally 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 beat brilliant diamond version it's been so long it's like been I should have been able to finish it all the way in summer and the movies might not even be out until like February or anything but you know what I think today's the day so I'm gonna put on my a lapras fedora. You can't even really see if it's lapras. See, it should say right here or something. Show a lapras. I'm going to grab my grub plush of my grub, except a plant cloak, uh, not sandy cloak, and grab this. My my partner, my partner for this game, not totally not Torterra. Um, my Joy-Con grip. My, ee, sorry, my uh, switch. Oh goodness! Oh, I'm dropping everything. Oh man, I've got like goldfish on it. All right, hold on. Okay, and then I'm going to head downstairs and finally beat this game. So let's do it. Yeah, there he is. Hold it! Don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's the more worthy of making the challenge of the bad but the battle. I think this is the final fight of the main story against our rival Ralph. Straffer. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you, darn it! You just wait. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the toughest Pokemon trainer there is. The champion! Here, and you better not lose to anyone before me. Uh, I don't think I will. Send in Chromer. Man, let's beat this guy. Oh, this game looks so good. Ooh. I like what they did here with his room. Pretty cool. I don't think it's the cool... I, I think his platinum one might have been cooler, but I don't remember. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. So you're Adra. Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, and yet they're beautiful, too. Would you like... Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Elite Four, Aaron. Let's take on this thing. thing. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. 
there remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Alright, Cynthia time. Okay, so Cynthia <laughs> equals hard to beat. So, I need to get, get a strategy here. I can't just like mess around here. This is like the no messing around battle. So, her spirit tomb's gonna be out first. I know that much. And, um. Just gonna check all my Pokemon's moves. Okay, Earthquake and Buzz. Bug Buzz. Let's deal with those. Alright, who are we? Okay, so for Spiritomb, it's Psychic, so I can't do that. Um, I think Lenny's the best shot here. Oh, I should probably save. I don't want to walk into this fight unprepared. Oh, and now here the music starts. Have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Cornet. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's go get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Oh, this is very, very, very scary. Oh, her team is hard to beat. This is the big battle. The big battle of the games. Oh, Spiritum looks so cool in this game. I need, I still need to get Spiritum. I think I can, but I don't, I don't know if I... I think I have the, the thing to get. Okay, that doesn't do that much. Oh, wow. Her team is actually doing some big damage to my... Oh, but that does a lot, too. Oh, wow. Her spear tomb's good. What? It's not dead? No way. No way! Oh my god, my tank just died. Yep, four star, you stupid dummy. Alright. Okay, but it has Shadow Ball, so I don't want to try anything stupid. Oh no, Roserade, that's not good. Oh wait, I have Ice Beam! Ice Beam, come on. Do some big damage. Oh, that did a lot. Freeze? Freeze? Nope, I got unlucky. Energy Ball. Oh, no. Oh! That was a one-shot. Oh, my God. attack 
Dazzling Gleam? What am I supposed to do here? I can't win! This battle is going really badly for me. Alright. What? Oh, this battle's so unfair against my stupid team. My team's not stupid, it's actually really good though. Alright. I need you, Lenny. Please survive this. Oh, okay, no. Nope. Oh, it has facade. All right, sorry, Blub, but you might need to die accidentally. Beam. That's not good. Okay, well, since he's here, might as well set up rain. And then I can use thunder. Okay, watch this, watch this. This might work. Oh, no, you're using Scald? Oh, you dummy. Okay. Good thing my Gyarados is pretty bulky. Poison. No, no, actually, paralyzed, paralyzed. Dang it. Don't kill. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm doing no damage here. I'm doing no damage. Okay. Let me see here. Alright, let's survive Willy. Alright, sorry, Blub. We're gonna send out Lemmy. Ooh, 
Leaf Storm. Ice Beam? Well, you stupid Milo. Oh my god, that almost killed Lenny. Leaf Storm. Oh wow, okay. That worked. Oh, Spiritomb still exists? Please don't outspeed. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh, why did I think that would freeze? This does too much damage! My team is actually losing here. Please don't. Oh, man. I need to revive Willy. Oh, my God. Oh no. Gastrodon, oh no. Grub's probably one of the bulkiest, so I, I can revive Grub. Cromer might possibly die. Yeah. Oh no, it has Rock Tomb. Okay. Revive Lenny. 
Please survive, gr please survive. Yes, okay, he's bulky, okay. Oh no! Ah, oh, I used the wrong item, okay. Oh no, okay. That was a crit. Survive Ducrub. Okay. I might have to do suit leaf storm. Yes! 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 We have a shot! We have a shot at beating this! We have a shot! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is just crazy. Lucario! Earthquake. I didn't think she had Lucario. Yes! Okay, this is actually- we might actually win. We have a shot. We have a shot! I don't have a better option. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. The god of all Pokemon. Not Arceus, but this beast right here. Alright. Come on, Lenny. Wait! We can do this! We can do this! I won't let this end yet. This match is too fun to let this end this early. Oh my god, we won! Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. And just now, you've become the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Yes! Oh, that's a lot of money. Mmm, kind of a lot of money. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokémon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. To together, you and your Pokémon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in, in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. I beat it! I did it! I beat the game! The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Professor Rowan's here! Kieran, your last battle was splendid! Oh, hello, Professor Rowan! 
Hmm, a child I enlisted for my Pokédex project has come this far. It is only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Kieran, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Kieran. Professor Owen, I need you over here as well. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If the last time you were here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Kieran, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It is time to record your names, you and your Pokémon. Remember, your Pokémon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will take a permanent record of your achievement. Congratulations, Letty! Congratulations, Willy! Congratulations, Grub! Congratulations, Cromer! Congratulations, Blub the Second! Congratulations, Dewcroak! Oh my gosh. I became the league champion. Look at my beautiful team. Oh my gosh. This is just, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Now then, um, <laughs> I don't know really what to say. This is this is perfect. My team is fantastic. I found a random shiny. I shiny hunted a Pokemon and actually got it. I didn't take super long to make this. I hope. The, my team's amazing. This is one of my best teams yet. I have Grub here to help me make my videos. And I guess this is it. This is the the big one. This is like the big, I just beat Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, my channel's grown a lot since these games were announced. And now here we are. I've beaten Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, I, I, this game has been beautiful. I think it's one of the best Pokemon games. Definitely in the top three. And there it is, Brilliant Diamond. Oh, let's look at the credits. Oh, they added the bike riding. Listen, guys. Um, my channel's grown a lot since uh, these games were announced, and this, this, these games have meant a lot to me, a whole lot. I know I'm like the guy who like sort of uh, hates on Sinnoh for different things, but that's because there hasn't been really the best way to experience these games besides Platinum, with all the flaws that Platinum has. And these games coming out have made me see Sinnoh in like a way different light. Like Sinnoh's way more beautiful, Sinnoh's just a better, better Pokemon region as a whole with these games. So, honestly, I just want to say that these games are how you're supposed to experience Sinnoh. With all the beauty in, of the region, now in like 3D. And I really, really appreciate Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Uh, I made a cake last Pokemon Day, 
for these games because it was just so beautiful how these games were announced. I think these games are very, very good. Uh, do I recommend getting them? Yes, I do. I, I totally recommend these games. These games, fantastic. Just fantastic. Yesterday, actually yesterday of me recording this, we hit 100 subs. Um, that's just amazing. I didn't think we would do it so soon. Um, I know it's been like, what, two, two years since I've started Pokemon Nights? Two, three years? And while Hacktoon Studios is the channel that has the more subs, um, I feel like this is the channel with like the better, with like the, the more of a community around it because I have like the live streams and I have people that frequently come to my live streams and all that. I have like a uh, Discord specifically pretty much for this channel and everything. So you know what? I think that um, I don't know what to do for a 100 sub special. I'll figure it out. Um, the end. The final words of the adventure. Beautiful. Ah, and there we go. Finally finished it. it. Took so many months. Oh my god. But it's all over. I think I really outdid myself this time. I love BDSP. Wait a minute. I think I'm forgetting something. Oh no! It can't be! <gasps> no! I forgot about my Omega Ruby sequel movie! No! Oh, I even promised it and everything. I've just been so caught up with my BDSP movie. <sighs> Dang it, what am I gonna do? Dad, I don't know what to do. I still gotta make my sequel Pokemon Omega Ruby movie, but I need to finish BDSP. I still haven't caught them all. What do I do? Son. Mini series. That's it! I'll make a mini series on my brilliant diamond adventure, and then. I'll continue to make my Mega Ruby movie. I know what to do. Yeah!